us through today the emotional <laughs> roller coaster it might have been? Not really an emotional roller coaster, Paul. I mean, we had our our process, and and we've got a great staff with with Brandon and, and Lawrence and, and and Brendan along uh, for this trip as well, and and always there to, to help guide things. So it wasn't really uh, an emotional experience. I think at the end it becomes a a little bit frantic when you go right down to the deadline uh, at the very end, and and you're make, trying to just make sure everything gets in, and and you know the worst. Uh, the case scenario would have been a technical glitch that prevented this in going past the five o'clock deadline, but um, no real emotion. Just stuck to our our process and and worked together with with Lewis Gross and William uh, to to complete it just under the wire. Yeah. Was, was, was there a point at which you thought it wasn't going to happen? Ah, uh, it's tough to say. I think we always try to remain optimistic, Damien, and and um, you know have have faith that that uh, that our our offers were fair and that they were coming from a good place as well and that in the end um, him missing a full season uh, and having it go across five o'clock today wouldn't have been wouldn't be good for anybody not for the team not for William and so you always kind of uh, maintain that faith as it gets closer to the deadline you start to maybe doubt it a little bit but but in the end we're happy that it it uh, ended with him signing for sure. Were you prepared for that reality as it came to it? I think so yeah I mean you have to anytime you get into something like this especially when you come into the last day um, you think it, it might be reality. We have, you know, is, is my duty to the organization and, and our group and our management group's duty to ensure that we're putting the organization in, a, in the best possible spot moving forward with, with all of our economics and all of our players. And so uh, we have to do what's right for that. And, and part of that may be situations like this one. And we, we hope to always avoid them, of course, but it's, uh, it's a realistic scenario as we just saw. What's how, your, many, what's your... how many different offers were there? How many back and forth? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Lots, Kevin. I, I I haven't counted them up. We're just it was get the deal done, get everything in, get showered, and head over here for the game. So I'll let you know when we do the official count. Well, well, like well, 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 deal? Like, why was it you know a reasonable deal, fair deal for uh, in your mind? I just think that in the end we we found a way that you know we. We have a, a, a cap situation this year, which, which afford us the ability to structure it the way that we did, and uh, and be able to uh, be able to compromise with William on what they wanted, and, and also for us in, in the in the out years, uh, being at a number as we plan with, with our team for us to become a, a consistent team that that's in the hunt and contending year in and year out. That we could we could certainly fit that in and have him be a part of this for for a long time, especially with the others on the horizon. So that was the way that we approached it, and and we didn't really stray from that. Where did the, uh, the years two through six, the six point nine, the six point nine, did that uh, vary much from your original offer, whenever that might? Well, been? I think every all offers vary in negotiations. From well, I'm not, I'm not going to get into the where where our offer started and where theirs started, but essentially, it uh, we worked together to to get to to that point, and we're happy with it. And I'm, I know William will be well worth that. So what, we're excited. What, what's your sense right now? Is there one of relief or satisfaction? What are you feeling? I'm I'm happy for for our team, and I'm happy for William. Um, you know, I, I wish that we were able to get this done before training camp and he was able to be a part of this. I, I think the team's record right now is a testament to the coaching staff and to the players on the group especially that they haven't really allowed this to become a distraction even though, the, as I, and I totally understand that the questions about it have picked up uh, of late. Uh, they've continued to stay focused. They've had a great start to the season and I've learned a lot about the coaches and the players and their ability to do so. So I'm very thankful for them that they were able to, uh, they were able to perform the way that they had and, and uh, I'm excited now to, to add William to the group because it'll only make us better. You're on the record as saying that you're going to keep the core together mm -hmm. and do whatever it takes. Mm -hmm. How does it look right now with this contract about the rest of the guys? I know, I know people were ready to jam that one down my throat, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll stick with it, and that's our goal. We, we want this group to be together as, as long as we can possibly keep it together, and we hope that all these guys can be career leaps, especially this young core group of players that we have. It's obviously a very exciting group and one that's excited our fans and, and our city, and that's our goal is to keep it together as long as it can roll. There was a thought that if this ever came to a trade, I'd say we would have got that from your end. Mm -hmm. A young defenseman might have been coming back. Is that an area that you still need to improve here to make uh, it proper? We, when, when that stuff, I mean, that, that's a natural thing in hockey, especially when a player isn't, isn't there. You, or people hear rumblings that his contract may be problematic, and I, I think that uh, we were never constrained. That was never our, our ambition. This was always, and I think other GMs in the league can verify it, we, we prefaced everything saying our ambition is to sign this player long term, and, and that's what we're working towards. Um, in discussions, we had lots of players that come up, not just defense, but anywhere we can improve the team, we will. Why did it end Certainly. up being... I was just going to say this this December first deadline mm -hmm. is a bit different uh, as you know in recent years. Sure. Does, does this process change your idea of how you're going to deal with 
partner Matthews and others going forward that maybe your timeline has to be a bit different? Sure. I mean, uh, we, we've had discussions with both of their camps already. I, I The way that I uh, had come into this, I know Lou had spoke with, with Lewis last last year. I don't know the exact specifics of it, but uh, we've had discussions with uh, with Judd Moldaver and Darren Ferris, and we'll continue to do that. Obviously, we want to avoid a situation where not all of our players are here at training camp. So uh, this is the furthest one of these has ever gone um, to within five minutes of the deadline. So we're making history. Yeah, you know, not in the way we'd like to, but we hope to on the ice in, in time. But um, you know, we'll, we'll continue to work with those guys, and, and this is not the, the we're happy to have a solution. It's not the preferred timing of the solution. Why does it end up being so difficult? Uh, that's probably more of a question for uh, for Lewis. I think um, you know they had their they had they were entrenched in their spot and, and we were uh, we were in ours. I think the the looming number of, of young players that's coming due after the season certainly influences that and what's going to happen with the economics of of the game and so on and so forth. Um, but I, I can't answer that specifically. We we just try to stick with our process. We follow in in each of them and and um, we hope and and I do appreciate the the amount of effort and work that Lewis put into this and and, uh, and William throughout. They were both very responsive and, and good to deal with. Did you end up talking to William? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I've talked to William throughout. Obviously, we, we've met throughout and talked on the phone and text, so on and so forth. We've, we've stayed in touch and, you know, I, I know it's it, people can make it seem like it's contentious and maybe at, at points people deem that it was, but when he gets back here, it gets rolling, it'll all be gone and, and we'll be thrilled to have him back. The process July first seem easier to what uh, you guys have just gone through here. <laughs> not, not, not really. I no, guess really. there was, <laughs> you know, there's a bunch of other teams involved and and different set of emotions. So, um, you know, that's it's always it's always interesting. You're you're very happy when when things come to their conclusion. They work out in the favor of everybody. John coming here in July first, and now William, uh, with his situation being solved now. So uh, I think you know we've been fortunate. None of those have, have really gone against us so far, and we'll continue to work to to keep them that way. Do you think this is a precedent we're going to see with not just your team but other teams across the league? I, I hope not, Damien. I, I hope that, you know, for the sake of everybody, the players, the teams, the, the game in general, that um, that teams and players are able to work together and have everybody there in time for training camp and get everything sorted and, and done. As I, I think it's, it's great for the fans and it's great for the game in general to have every great young player available uh, and every exciting young player available uh, to be out here every night and you know we've we've deprived the fans of that for two months so we're happy to get one back if players coming off their entry level had arbitration rights would that make life easier for everybody or is that not something your teams uh, that's a question for people way above my <laughs> pay grade I mean I mean obviously with players that, that have it there's a there's a remedy that's that's available uh, to them but that's that's you know you got to go a certain Amount of years and earn a couple, earn a certain number of pro years before you get there. And I know in other sports they, they don't have it. So I mean that's 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 up to the commissioner's office, not not me. What do you expect to play? Uh, I would. I mean we've got to go through the same protocol you'd go through coming in from training camp. So I would say patience with that. He's got to go through his medical testing. We we still have to though. I think everyone wants to get back in and get playing right away. We have to still play the long game with it. It's a it's a six year contract and we don't want to rush to get him in on Tuesday or potentially Thursday and then have that uh, forego his health and, and well-being. So we'll get all that taken care of, and then um, we'll hope uh, in the next week or so we'll be back in action. Is Mike Dillon out here? What's that? <laughs> Is Mike <Dillon> out here? <laughs> I, I broke it to Mike, so we're good. The, ca the contract's a bit different because the cap hit so big in the first year sure. because of the timing. Does that impact your ability to do other things this season if you want to strengthen your club before the deadline? No, I think we still – we. The, the way that our, our salary cap is structured is uh, for this season is, you know, we, we obviously we're saving space for, for William. That's accrued over uh, daily since the start of the season. And, and we've got some, some space uh, set aside for our, our bonuses that, that may be due, but we'll still be able to, to potentially add to the group. And, and if we can strengthen the group, we, uh, we will. How optimistic are you can avoid a similar lengthy process with your other RFAs moving forward again? Sure. Well, that's the plan is to avoid it. I mean, it's our it's our full plan to have everybody available for the first day of, of training camp. So, um, you know, I think we we've shown that, you know, when it when it comes to making sure that everything fits our economics, that we will go to whatever length we have to. But our goal is to have everybody settled as soon as they possibly can. And that allows us the best plan for the remainder of the year and roll from there, Mark. Around what time did you actually agree? Oh, um, well, we we sent it. We got this. Their sign 
copy of the contract back at 3.52 or whatever uh, central time. So, I mean, it was agreed to, but then there was some um, some slight variations that needed to be to be made, and then the send you know email to, to to Sweden and emailed not to Sweden. I mean, that's not like I was sending a telegram, but like yeah. e e emailed over there, sent back in the right order, make sure it's good, and then send it to the league. Because the worst thing you want you have a page missing and contracts rejected at this point would be not good. Are you nervously watching the clock. Uh, if it would have gone past 3:50, I've got a lot of faith in Brandon Pridham, and he certainly has uh, has shown that that faith is well placed throughout this process. So I, I thought we would be in good hands, even though it was a bit more of undue pressure placed on him by me. Which, anyway. Was <laughs> it a moment you thought was a turning point in this process? Uh, when they called at 3:30 and said, and William said, "Do you do you want to make a deal?" That was the the turning point, I would say. Is that how it went? He called. You spoke to him. At uh, the, yeah, he and Lewis uh, called at uh, about 3:30, and um, at that point, I w once once he had said what he did, and then I spoke to Lewis for a bit. I kind of knew we were on the right track, but right down to the wire. So you, guys were, you guys in the conference room then at the hotel then? Oh, we were in my in my room at the hotel. I'm right. I'm sick of that room at the St. Paul <laughs> Hotel. Just for clarity. 3:30 this time, so correct. Yeah, I, I'm. Half yeah. an hour from the. Yes, from that's the correct. Okay. Maybe it was 3:15. I, sure, I could. I don't have my phone on me. I could check. The hour but yes, within the hour.